Hey, it's Andy and John with Car Repairs Made Easy. And today we're working on a 1996 Ford Explorer with a 4 liter engine. Um, we're going to replace the water pump on this vehicle because it's, because it's leaking. Um, we also notice we have a leak over here on the side of the radiator, which we'll assess as we get this apart. Um, well, the first thing you got to do to do this job is we're going to drain the radiator or the cooling system here at the Petcock. Which is right up here. This should just take like a quarter or half a turn if it's not messed up. And it don't want to come out. But this is where you would want to drain it. Let's see if we can get this thing to drain. It's plastic, so I really don't want to put pliers on it unless I have to. doesn't want to come loose so we have another alternative and that will be to pull the lower radiator hose which you'll see over here I don't know if you can see it or not yeah I got it all right so I'm gonna just get up here and grab a screwdriver real quick This is another good alternative, except this way it makes a big mess because you're going to have coolant flowing this way out of the radiator and this way out of the hose. But sometimes you have to do what you have to do. So we just loosen the clamp. That's just a flat blade screwdriver, or you could use a 5 16 or 8 millimeter socket. <clears throat> Just hopefully you can catch it all. Not get covered too much with coolant. Seeing how that poured out of there, that's why we don't like to do that, but you can do it if you have to. It works and it's pretty quick too. So, <laughs> all right, we're just going to leave our drain bucket here because we'll have a little more mess. We're going to go up top and start taking some things off so we can get to the coolant fan or, and then the water pump. <clears throat> okay, now that we've got our coolant drained, we're on the top here. Now we just need to get the access. So, what we're going to do is we'll just pull this hose out of here. We have connect, we're not even going to take that connector off. Take this connector off here, you just push down on it, squeeze it, and it comes off. We're going to take this ductwork off here. Just a little clamp there, and there's a clamp on this side. By the way, this is a 4.0 V6 that we're working on. So I know somebody's got V8s, just so you know that your engine may be different. Pull that loose, and then this will come off. And you see, we have a lot more room. We can actually see what we're doing. Um, the first thing we're going to do to protect our radiator from the fan when we take it loose is we're going to take these two 10 millimeters off here from the fan shroud. We're going to lean that forward and slide some cardboard in there to protect the radiator. All right, now we got our 10 millimeter socket. Let's take these loose for the shroud. And we'll take this one loose. As you can see, this moves a little bit, which is what we want. We can't take the shroud out because the fan blades in the way. So we're just going to take a piece of cardboard, slide it between them in here. And if you look in here now, you can see the radiator's covered, pretty well protected. And I'm just going to stick one of these back in to hold it in place. So that's on it, stays out of the way. Now we're going to grab our 
tools here. These are the tools you use for the to take the fan clutch off. This one actually goes on the nut on the fan itself. As you can see there. And this one actually bites onto the holds onto the bolts. We're gonna use a half inch breaker bar or you can use a half inch ratchet, whatever you have. This should fit in here. Like so this is the wrong size, I think. Nope, that's right. I'm just gonna put our breaker bar in here like this. It's a good idea to leave the belt on. You know, it seems like it's in the way. It helps keep things from turning, especially when you take the bolts loose for the water pump pulley. So we can hold that. Now this set it has right hand threads. So if I push down on this, it should come loose. There, there we you go. go. You see that burn through? And then we'll just take, we can take this loose. Okay, there we go. This is why you want to leave the belt on so the pulley doesn't spin. You can see this comes off here. I'll try to catch it, but you'll, I'm sure it'll be tough, but you'll see why the cardboard's in there. See that? If you don't have the cardboard in there, you risk punching a hole in your radiator. So now that we have that loose, I'll take this 10 millimeter back out. Then once this comes out, the shroud pulls up. You can see down there underneath that line, if you can get you a good shot where it just hooks into the bottom of the radiator. And this is going to kind of come up one piece. There you go. Okay, um, we're doing a radiator on this 96 Ford Explorer along with the water pump. Um, as you've seen in the water pump video, we, we showed how to take the fan, the shroud out of the way, and the lower radiator hose to drain it. Um, since we're doing this both on one job, we want to show you, we're going to use that portion of the film and edit it into this portion where we pull the radiator out. That way you can see the complete job in one piece, as opposed to doing both at one time. Because <clears throat> you chances are you won't have to do both at one time. So... Just like in the first one, you do want to put the um, the cardboard in behind the shroud so when you take the fan off it doesn't hit the radiator, just in case you're taking your radiator out to have it flushed, back flushed and cleaned out and maybe rebuilt as opposed to replacing it, which we're doing here. So now that we have <clears throat> the fan and everything in the shroud out of the way, the coolant drained from the lower radiator hose, um, we just have a few things left and the radiator comes out. First you have this the overflow tube here just pull that loose from near the radiator cap you have a couple clips these are broke but they're usually stuck in like this to hold it in place through the radiator we'll pull that out of the way and this one we have our transmission cooler lines here and down here 16 millimeter wrench just be real careful that this one doesn't spin if it starts to spin grab a wrench and hold that adapter um, new ones come with the new radiator just break these loose. It should come loose pretty simple. Get those out of the way there. The pan under there. Oh, let's move the pan over. I think it's going to drop. In case we lose some fluid. <clears throat> really, once you have the fan out of the way and the shroud, the radiator is real simple. You just get the two lines, a couple tens, and a couple hoses. Break this one loose. You said that was a 16 millimeter? This is 16 on the bottom also. Okay. If they're real tight, the preference is to use a line wrench, which actually wraps around the bolt or the nut more than a regular wrench. But you could try a regular wrench. Um, just make sure you don't round off the threads or the head of the bolt. If it starts to round off or won't come loose, then you need to find a line wrench. Probably get those from your local auto parts store that might loan them to you. As you can see, transmission fluid draining out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's why we did that first so that can drain. Now I just need a screwdriver here. We'll get this upper hose off. Just unscrew the clamp. You can use a flat blade screwdriver or a 5 16 or 8 millimeter socket. Just give it a twist. That'll pull right off. We have a little bit of coolant left in there. We'll just drain that out so we don't have a big mess. Now we have a 10 millimeter bolt on either side at the top, one here, and one at the same place on the other side of the radiator. Just zip those out. And then it looks like it's hooked in on the bottom. Yeah, it just rests in here. It's just sitting in a the foot there. Yeah, it's very rare that we're going to use, we'll edit and put pieces from two different jobs onto one, or one job off of two videos, but like I said, you may not be doing both of these at the same time, so that way you'll get a thorough repair for either one, whether it's the water pump or the radiator. The beginning procedure, as far as the fan or the shroud, it's, still, it's exactly the same. So now that we have this loose, we can pull this off later after we get it out. That's an air deflector. So now we just pull it straight up. Just wiggle it out of there. Get some more coolant in there. We'll drain into our bucket. Careful not to hit the condenser, which is this other piece for the air conditioner. It looks like a radiator. And that's it. Now we have the radiator out. It's always good to check your new radiator. Make sure you have the adapters that you need for the lines. If not, you have to transfer them over. Radiator cap and pet cock. Always make sure that stuff comes with the new radiator. If not, you need to buy a new cap. This should come with it.